Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of classifying two-dimensional shapes. This is standard 5.5a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 8 of the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we're looking here at a Venn diagram and we see a little bit of an overlap and that's really what we're looking at here. See this outer box is all triangles. So we're trying to find this intersection right here between isosceles triangles and acute triangles. So let's, let's do this real quick. Let's first make sure we understand that triangles, all triangles can be classified two different ways. So we've got angles, And then we've got side lengths. And every single triangle can receive one name from each of these sides. And there's three, three ways we're going to be describing angles and three ways we're going to be describing side length. So we have first acute triangles. And those are triangles that have an angle measure, all three. So all three angles. are less than 90. So everything in our triangles kind of revolves around this 90 degree, right? So this is our 90 degree square corner perpendicular angle. So all three angles are less than 90. So then we have a right, right angle within the triangle and it's going to have one 90 degree angle. You cannot have more than one 90 degree angle in a triangle. And then if we have, we have acute triangles, we have right triangles, we have obtuse triangles. And it has one that is greater than 90. And just like the right triangle, you can't have more than one obtuse angle in a triangle. It would turn into a square or rectangle or something like that. And then we have side lengths. So we have first scalene. So scalene is zero equal side lengths. Zero equal sides. So all three sides are, are different lengths. Then we have an isosceles. Isosceles is definitely a strange name, but think of these letters SOS, same, other, same, right? Or ELE, -E, equal, long, equal. So you have two equal sides. I'll say two or more because we can have a two, we can have uh, three, and I'll look at that in just a second. So we have equilateral triangles. Those are all three. All three sides are equal. So that's the strange thing about isosceles. So isosceles is two or more equal sides, but all equilateral triangles can also be described as isosceles because when you have three equal sides, you also have at least two equal sides. Okay, so now we've labeled all of these things here. Let's take a look at our triangles. So let, look at these little hash marks. These little hash marks are going to show you which side lengths are equal. So let's look at, uh, we've got the side lengths that are right here. So I've got two side lengths that are equal. I've got this hypotenuse, this long Diagonal one, that is unequal. So this is isosceles. If we're looking at our angles, we see we've got a square corner right there. So this is a right. So this is a right isosceles triangle. We're looking for an acute isosceles triangle. So that's not it right there. So take a look at G. There's your scalene because it's got one hash mark, two hash marks, three hash marks, which means all three side lengths are different. So that's scalene. It's got zero equal sides, and that's a very big angle. That's obtuse. It's larger than our 90 degrees. We can just kind of look up like that and say that's it right there. So I've got isosceles right here on H, but it's also a big one. It's obtuse. So let's hope it's J. I've got another isosceles. But look, all three angles are smaller than 90 which means it's acute, and that is our answer, J. Okay. 